Hi, I'm, I'm Ian Bell from Minted Box and Mint Class. And we are a web development company and also have a supply software to about 350 secondary schools in the UK. Uh, I'm particularly interested in schools at the moment uh, and the students that are coming out of schools. So we've got lots of huge customers, supermarkets, car manufacturers, and we're, as I say, we're in lots and lots of schools. Um, if you're struggling a little bit with my accent, uh, it's a shame. I was b born in Weybridge, and anyone who knows Weybridge, you go down Princess Street in Edinburgh, left onto Lothian Road, traffic lights at the end, stop there, keep going 413 miles, and you'll get to Weybridge. We all speak like that here. Uh, I was only in Scotland from the age of 5 to 21, 16 years, and I get this. <laughs> Is there anybody from Yorkshire here? Great, somebody tighter with less generosity than me. <laughs> now, now, great, because you've made, obviously read my notes. Isn't it wonderful? My accent made me an expert in whiskey, and I can't stand the stuff. Independence, I, I had no interest in Scottish politi politics at all, at all from 5 to 21, but apparently I was an expert. I'm an, I know all about oil revenues, and of course I'm really, really a great fan of G wee Jimmy Cranky, who's currently in charge of the SNP. <laughs> but my accent is the perception of me, and I think what I want to come on to is the perception that we all have of students, and the students that are coming out of schools with their A-levels, GCSEs, uh, degrees, and possibly, I think, a general lack of soft skills, the inability to look you in the eye, shake your hand, uh, be as interesting and exciting as all you are. And I think if we look at the education system in particular, it's, it's in trouble. There's lots and lots of teachers leaving the profession. And what we need to th think about is how can we help? The Minted Bots do a lot of help with that. I'll come on to that in a second. But students are really interactive with each other, but they're not when they meet you. When they meet James from Trafalgar Marquis, they're terrified. When they meet Richard Maybury, they're really terrified. And if I just show you one more thing, sorry, I've just got this a bit ready. Evidence shows that if people like us can meet students between usually about year seven and the, when they leave school four times, they're five times more likely to get a job. Because the first time they meet you, the first time they re meet Robert from Ramsack, they're terrified and, the, and, and, and they don't know what to say. And then the next time they meet someone, they're less terrified. And the time when they actually need to meet someone like you in an interview situation, it's not so bad. So what we do at Minted Box is we go into schools uh, voluntarily. James does a lot of it. James, my business partner, and, and I have done it quite a few times. And we, and we work, work with the students and we chat to them and they have to guess what we do for a living by, by our accents and by the way we look. And we're only allowed to answer yes and no for two minutes. And what happens is at the end of it, they're so engaged because when you tell them that you've got a marquee company or you've got an IT company or you're a web business, they suddenly realize that there's more to it than just joining the solicitor's firm, the accountancy firm, or whatever it may be. They don't realize how many careers there are out there. And what I'm really keen for the IOD, and, and maybe it's not nationally, but it's within this group, to get involved and go and see, go and see schools. The career, the feedback, the, the, the feedback we get from the students is they're absolutely enthralled. And when you see the, the interaction of these students, so what we have here is, by contrast, there is Park Bar, uh, King's College in Park Barn, and over there, I think, is Guildford County. You can walk to both of them in roughly the same time. Guildford County is about to get outstanding from Ofsted. Park, uh, the one at King's College was, is put into special measures at Christmas. Now, how can that be in that geography? How can that possibly be? We're at the end of the education factory, and this, we've got the kids coming out, and you're going... Um, GCSE, you're going, no thanks, no thanks, not really interested, no thanks, no thanks. What I'd say to you is walk further into the factory, go to the halfway down the machine, start talking to the people there, and then when you get to the end, you'll go, okay, you're quite good, you're quite good. And we're in a position to do that. We're in a position to help students know more. We do a lot of work experience, uh, students just coming with us for a week. We do job centre work experience. In fact, we've got three employees that have come directly through work, working with us uh, through the job center. Apprenticeships, we took our, we were at one of these events. James met our, uh, one of our team. 
Uh, Kirsty joined us as an apprentice, so jumped out of A-levels, and, and is now one of our top developers. And then last year, the, uh, the mayor of Guildford asked us to produce a, a mint placement, which is a matching system for businesses and, and students. And I'd encourage all the IOD members to, to register for this so that schools can find you. And you'll get a great reward from it. I mean, it's fantastic to go into these schools and chat to them. Um, so I really, really think you should get, get involved. How am I doing for time, Richard? You're over. Oh, good. So I'll just finish with one thing. Get involved with the schools. Come and see me. Uh, uh, Richard here. You know, people find out what they are. Every, no one knows Richard's an Elvis impersonator. So when... Uh, you are, aren't you? Anyway, just one last thing. What, the, the little... My little logo down the bottom, just a little last thing. As, as, as the chap who went to the doctor with a lettuce growing out of his backside and the doctor took one look and said, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Oh. <laughs>